Hello Kerbal Space Program fans, Matthew Carr here, and I'm going to talk about control surfaces. Specifically, why they should not be used as wings. Now, you may have seen this before. Something called Infiniglide or the Magic Turbine, or other names, where you use control surfaces to power your craft. As they get faster, they generate even more thrust, and eventually this will give you enough power to get out of the atmosphere entirely. This craft made it all the way to orbit. Now, on the forums, there have been multiple challenges involving ion gliders and other very light craft. I didn't want to use an ion glider for the test rig here because they get very complicated with solar panels and power concerns, so I just used a small engine and had infinite fuel turned on. I got it up pretty high. This one got to about 25,000 feet, going pretty quickly. But this is where it tops out. It can't get any higher and it can't get any faster. Going higher means the air gets too thin, has no lift. Now, if I replace those wings, with control surfaces, and they're all locked, not mobile control surfaces, so there's no actual Infiniglide bug. The craft flies and has similar characteristics, although I launch it very poorly, but this craft actually weighs more than the other one and on paper has less lift. Despite that, I can run the engine at a lower setting than the previous one, giving almost half the thrust to weight ratio and still making it up to the same height. It's going slower at this height because of the lowered thrust to weight ratio but it's still climbing. And here, it reaches a very high height, and is still going even further. So, to sum up, control surfaces as wings lets you get farther, faster, higher, and is just better than normal. Why is this? It doesn't really make sense. Let's investigate further. For these tests, I forewent the engine entirely, and I'm just using a Kerbal to push it. This will get it off the ground and provide a very small amount of thrust, which is what I want. Extremely small thrust. And it does get it off the ground, and into the air, and I can slowly push it up even higher. Now, as it goes up, seems pretty normal. And so we're going to just try to test the performance of this aircraft. So I tilt up, and it slows down, but doesn't really start falling all that much. So it's falling a little, and then it starts bobbing a bit. But now, if I tilt it a little higher, Oh, there it crashes. The way it should. It stalls out. Now here's my one with control surfaces. Again, locked in position. Gets off the ground in a similar fashion, although slightly easier it seems. Seems to gain lift a little better. And here we tilt up again. And we get similar performance characteristics again. It's just kind of sliding along at a fixed height. You don't see the bobbing as much as the other one. Now let's try tipping it up even further, like we did before. Curious. It slows down, but nope, doesn't start falling. Still maintaining altitude perfectly. Physics is already beginning to weep. But let's try pushing it even further, see what happens. Uh-huh. So, it's a hot air balloon all of a sudden. Just hovering along, 3 meters a second, and not falling at all. Just kind of bobbing along. This is definitely not right. So let's try some other stuff. Here I have the exact same craft, but I flipped the wings reversed. And for wings, they work exactly the same in reverse. And in Kerbal Space Program, that makes sense. Real life, not so much. Now I'm going to do it with control surfaces. They're flipped again. You can see them pointing up. And I'm moving along, getting faster. And you can see I'm not really lifting off. By this point in all the other flights, I'm easily off the ground. So let's try flipping them and having them fit angled down which is a little strange, doesn't seem to make sense, seems like it would push the craft down, but, um, no, no, it pushes it up and backwards. Yes, backwards. Control surfaces just aren't right. But we can use them for anti-gravity, and so I decided I'd make a stock blimp, or zeppelin. Here we go, taking off, and it's pretty easy. It gets to a stately five meters a second, kind of cruises into the air, and once I get some sufficient height, I can turn off the jet engines entirely and just kind of go into cruise mode. Now you can see, this Zeppelin is made from fuel tanks and other things that are not particularly light. I, I emptied them of fuel to keep it somewhat lighter, but the craft still weighs something like 50 tons. So I had to use about 300 control surfaces to keep it in the air like this. But doing that, it can just float around. And it actually works quite well as a stock Zeppelin. You can see me here going, using the control tower kind of as a zeppelin tower, just going by, saying hello. It's pretty fun. 
So, in conclusion, you can use control surfaces as wings, but they do not have the properties of normal wings, and you can't expect them to behave well. Landing the Zeppelin, for example, is kind of tricky because I actually need reverse thrust to go down at all. Otherwise, it just does not sink. I can point it down, I can point it up, it'll change the speed it's moving at, and it will still not fall or rise at all. But with some reverse thrust, I can come in for a precise landing. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I hope you learned something or were amused. And, if not, you can watch me trying to land and not quite succeeding. Matthew Carr, out.